motherfucking Eagle Double G. Snoop Dogg. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Morning Guides, a YouTube channel that main goal is to make you better at editing. In this video I'll be showing you how you can create a tug life effect using DaVinci Resolve. So let's begin. To get started I put a video on my timeline, I selected the area that I want my tug life effect to begin. I have selected the cutting tool, I made a cut there and then I'm moving a frame further by pressing the right arrow key on the keyboard and cut it once more. After that I deleted the rest of the video because I'm gonna use only the freeze frame which I'm doing right now by right clicking and changing the clip speed and then selecting the freeze frame then I'm adjusting it back to the clip by stretching it out after I did that I'm selecting the clip and I'm going in the color tab and in the color tab you should look to find this icon then go on the second last area which is this one and you can pull down the line so that we can make the clip black and white and now we can go back on the edit tab and so far we have freeze the second part of the clip and we change the color to black and white. Now moving on, we need to add the Tug Life element, which is cigar glasses and the Tug Life sign. I have already did that, but you can simply get them by going to Google and search them. Now I'm starting out with the glasses and placing them where my freeze frame is beginning. Then I wanna resize them to make sure they're gonna be fitting on his head. And you can do that by clicking on this icon. You wanna place the marker in the beginning of that picture. Then you want to move the glasses outside of vision, like I'm doing right now. Next step is going on the inspector on the right side. And you want to select this diamond, which is the top one next to the transform, which will allow you to make an animation of the file that you have selected. Then you want to go further in the clip and select the area that your glasses wish to be set. And then you can drag back the glasses which are outside of vision back on his head. After you do that, you can go down and select this tool right here, which is gonna allow you to see all the keyframes. Let's see what we did so far. And as you can see, they're going a little bit slower. So I'm gonna move the keyframe closer to the other one to speed up. The next thing that I'm gonna be doing is placing the cigar, which I'm leaving over the glasses. I'll be stretching that file to make sure that they're fitting together. And after I'm finished with that, I'm gonna be resizing the cigar. So make sure that it's fitting in his mouth. And with the cigar we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. It's not gonna be the same as the glasses. But starting out by moving them out of vision. Then putting the marker in the beginning. Then you go to the inspector and select the top diamond of the transform again. You can use your right arrow on your keyboard to move a little bit frames forward. And after you move few frames forward, you wanna rotate the cigar a little bit. Then you can move few frames forward again and rotate the cigar again. And you can repeat that by doing it three or four times until you reach the destination that you wish the cigar to be standing to make sure they're going at the end at the same time. Now I can play the clip so I can see are they synchronized good enough. And I think for the moment they're looking okay. The next step is that I'm gonna be adding a tug life sign. I'm gonna be stretching out again so that I make sure that they're fitting together. To make sure I synchronize them well I'm gonna open the keyframes for the cigar as well and I'm gonna try to make the last frames of both the cigar and the glasses to match so I'm gonna move them so they're under one line and in that line I want to make sure that the, the sign is popping out. After I make sure I synchronize them I'm gonna make sure I selected the tug life and I'm gonna be stretching out because I want to look a little bit bigger and put it in the left corner. And the last part of this tutorial to make it complete is to add a song. The song that I'm gonna be using is typical for the Tug Life effect that I'm gonna be doing. And it's uh, Snoop Dogg the next episode, but you can pick any other song if you want. Stretch it out and make sure it's fitting in your video. And now you can see how it's gonna be look like. And this is how you can create Tug Life Effect using DaVinci Resolve. If this video was helpful to you, make sure to like it, subscribe for more, and see you in the next video. Yeah.